shit. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Okay, so January 30th, that means there's a couple weigh-ins I need to show you guys. Still doing 100 days of weighing in. So it is currently 107. I just got out of the shower. I woke up at noon, which is so late for me. Even my girlfriend woke up at like 11. That is so late for her because she usually wakes up like 7 a.m., sometimes a little bit before that. I usually, I'm gonna be honest, if we have to do an average here, I'm up at like nine every morning. We've all slept in for sure. <laughs> And this is the dress I wear when I'm just like not in the mood to give any fucks about anything. It's just like one of them like laid backs. Laid backs. What? Them laid back type of dresses. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. So in this video, I want to show you guys what I eat when I'm off track because I actively woke up today because it is Sunday and I said, you know what? The Lord is telling me to eat what I want and it's his day today. You know, I'm just doing the Lord's work out here. But it's like every day now, I just feel scared that I'm gonna die because of my weight. Because it's like, I know I'm gonna die because of my weight. So uh, yeah, I'm just actively making the choice. Like I'm not on track today. Like it's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday. I'm gonna get back on track. Like, will I be <laughs> continuing Weight Watchers or doing something else? Like I have been in the 490s forever, it feels like. And it's just like, my body won't let me lose more weight. I know it sounds like, oh my God, why are we like listening to a 500 pound girl talk about this? Like she knows what she's talking about. Unfortunately, I do. People are always talking about like self-sabotage, like addicts do it and food addicts do it and people who binge eat. And I'm just like, how does one sabotage themselves without realizing it? But like, they're also doing it on purpose. Like, I don't understand. I need to like, do more research on self-sabotage because I just don't get it. It's like, I know I'll be okay if I don't binge, but it's just like, it takes so much out of you. Like so much energy to not do it. And because <sighs> it is what it is. I have these days a lot off of camera. As you guys know, I'm having a hard time losing weight currently and sticking to a plan. So I wanted to show you guys a bit like, okay, so this is what I eat when I just don't fully care at the moment. I'm actually in a really good mood today. I woke up like toes happy. Like if I go to bed happy, my ass is waking up happy. If I go to bed sad, you're going to see me waking up with tears already dripping down my eyeballs. I wake up and I do great throughout the day. Like amazing. Once night hits, it's as if I'm a completely different person. That's not normal. If you're on a weight loss journey and like you're off track today or you've been off track in the last week or you have a plan to be off track, do not let this video and do not let the things I'm saying derail you from wanting a cheat day, if you will, or a day where you're not counting calories or points or carbs. Our bodies are not meant to be robots. It seems like I'm being a little bit of a hypocrite at the moment, but it's very important that if you are at a healthy weight to count calories or figure out what it is that you need to do to lose weight, but you have to be realistic and you have to know that you are, you are going to allow yourself to have days where you don't actively worry about every single thing you put into your mouth because sometimes it gets like into an unhealthy headspace. I don't want to be skinny because skinny isn't always healthy. Because girl, you probably do deserve that cheat day. You probably do deserve that freaking three pieces of cheesy pizza. Do I deserve it? No. Is it still going to happen? Yes, it is. So. Okay, so I had a chocolate peanut butter yasso is the first thing. And then I ordered this like open face turkey cheesy onion sandwich, some like cheesy and steak e fries. It was pretty tasty. Um, then I got some Starbucks. This is just a chai tea. And I got some of their mandolin cakes, which is one of my faves. And I was craving a chocolate chip cookie. Oh my god, this sounds so good right now. Okay, you guys. So the next thing I'm having, if I ever say that I'm off a track, it's it's probably because I either had one of these, I plan on having one of these. I'm kind of obsessed. I get the uh, blue coconut with the cherry. The anemic in me says hell to the S, so that is what I'm having. Hey, I'm a mukbang channel and I've gained 125 pounds. <laughs> Sorry, I was thirsty. Okay guys, so my tongue is blue. <laughs> That's from the slushy. But I ordered Arby's. I got a large diet Coke, so large curly fry. That's good. So good. I got a mac and cheese. It says stir before eating. Okay. Oh, look how cheesy. Okay. Do as they say. Stir before eating. 
So juicy. Last thing I got is a crispy fish burger sandwich. Who knows what? Wow. So it looks like it's just tartar sauce, the fish, some lettuce. Looks good. Smells good. Let's dive into it, shall we? Ten out of ten. Recommend. I was stuffing my face, and I felt literally sick to my stomach. I was so full, and you know what I did? I kept eating. I kept eating, and I couldn't stop. Something I don't do is I never eat the calories I've burnt. I like to celebrate the calories I've burnt, but I'll never eat them back because I feel like it was pointless that I even burnt them to begin with if I sit there and eat the calories that I just burnt from walking or dancing or something. Um, I don't show calories, but I figured maybe it'd be a good idea if I did because... I think this is educational for me. I don't think I ever realized like how many calories I was eating. I would like it to be known that not every day I am off track is like this. Are there days like this? Yes, of course. But this off track day was just insanely bad. In total, I ate 5,121 calories. I'm shocked. I'm appalled. Like, I literally... I'm disgusted with myself. I have an eating disorder, so I'm not gonna blame it on a character flaw or because I'm disgusting. I know what the comments say, trust me. Eating disorders are a very real thing and food addictions are a very real thing and it's unfortunate that I am suffering. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I've had quite a few people asking for a day where I'm just like completely off track and this is it. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video, bye. Let's take it slow Where you go, I go too And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it Let's take it slow